Kansai Sooners on the ground here again in Lawrence. I am not Josh Calloway. I am Ryan Chapman filling in for the absent Josh Calloway. That is John Hoover. We are allsooners.com. And, John, we witnessed an absolutely bonkers game here in David Booth Memorial Stadium in Lawrence. The Oklahoma Sooners, the important thing, they win 35-23. They're 8-0 for the first time since 2004. Yes, this Oklahoma team is the one that manages to go 8-0. <laughs> Nation-leading 16 game win streak but john this was all kinds of ugly right from the start yeah what happened what the heck happened kansas jumps out to a 10 nothing lead they go 75 yards for a touchdown on their opening drive they haven't scored on their opening drive all year they've scored a total of one touchdown in the first quarter all year before today they did it uh shocked oklahoma it was like a, it was like a punch to the jaw rocked their knees weakened their knees in the middle of the ring and oklahoma didn't have any answers the first half Oklahoma goes finishes the first half shut out trailing 10 to nothing zero points for the first time in the Lincoln Riley era it's the first time since the Russell Athletic Bowl before he before Bob Stoops hired Lincoln Riley that the Sooners have not had a point at halftime the defense was no better the offense was abysmal the defense was no better uh, Lincoln Riley talked about how there's a this was a low possession game. Yeah, because the defense gave up eight out of ten in the in the first three quarters on third down. Eight out of ten conversions. They started seven for eight. It was just ridiculous. I think Kansas finished the the game nine for thirteen on third down. They had a hundred yard rusher. They had a hundred yard passer. They, uh, a hundred yard receiver. They had a, almost a three hundred yard passer. These are statistics that this Kansas football team we didn't think was capable of. We looked at their defensive rankings, their offensive rankings going into this game, 100 in just about every one of them, 118, 124, 129, 130 in one of the offensive defensive rankings, and they're just moving the football up and down the field on the Oklahoma Sooners tonight. Unbelievable. It was so bad, John, that we forgot, we have forgotten as a nation that the power went out in this here stadium at the end of Kansas's first scoring drive. I felt bad for Jayhawk fans initially because I, I turned to some of our friends on the field and said, man, the Jayhawks here today, they're not even going to get to take that classic scoreboard picture of Kansas up yeah. seven to nothing. Turns out they held on long enough for them to restore power on campus. But out of the break, John, the offense turned it on. Caleb Williams shook out of whatever funk he started in. True freshman starting his first yeah. conference road game makes sense. And they went on five straight touchdown drives. The offense did 320 yards of total offense here in the second half. The running game got going a lot because of Caleb Williams, but not before Trey West, of all people, back from the portal, back Where? from the land of the lost. Where did that come from? A 60-yard reverse. That I, I was telling you, John, if you look on our website, allsooners.com, you have the offensive highlights. I'm telling them myself here. But it was such a good play fake over to the right side of the field that I was totally lost. I was like, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, he's running down the field. And that's what ignited the Sooners. Uh, it was wild. You had a 40-yard touchdown run. Again, Caleb Williams gets it done. But, John, I saw this on Twitter. I kind of want your thoughts on it. In the weirdest of all places, an actual close ball game in Lawrence, Kansas, Caleb Williams might have had a Heisman moment, a Heisman on, a, moment. on a backyard football play. What happened? Against KU, a Heisman moment. Who would have ever thought it? Uh, the fourth down, Oklahoma gets a gets a comfortable lead. Kansas immediately responds with a touchdown and two point conversion falls short. So it's 28-23 in the closing minutes. Oklahoma says, "You know what? We're going to go. We're going to run this clock out." They get to midfield. They get a fourth down. They hand it to Kennedy Brooks off tackle. Kennedy Brooks gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage. He's short of the first down, and he is, as he's getting pushed back, Caleb Williams reaches in takes the football from him, and Kennedy Brooks said he knew it was Caleb, so he let him take it. Lincoln Riley said, we talk about plays like that. We don't practice them, but we talk about plays like that. And, of course, we didn't get the chance to talk to Caleb Williams, uh, the freshman rule. I requested him, was de denied, would love to have known what he, know, what he knew about that play. Turns out the officials, the Big 12 refs and the officials got together, reviewed it, Talked to the people back in uh, in Las Colinas, Texas, where the Big 12 office is, and they said this was a handoff behind the line of scrimmage. It was not a handoff. You know, it can be a handoff forward, it can be a handoff backward, but as long as it's a handoff and not a pass and not a fumble, if it would have been ruled a fumble, you couldn't advance it. The second guy couldn't advance it So on a fourth down. So it was a weird confluence of a bunch of rules coming together. 
And Caleb Williams literally, it was like Superman, swooped in, grabbed the football, and scooted for a first down. We've never seen anything like it. This kid has talent in his body and in his heart and in his brain. He has the talent and the, the wherewithal, the mental fortitude to figure that out and do that at the last second. Who does that? I've never seen anybody do that before. John, it's the Baker Mayfield thing. I, like, I hate to put that on it, but we just talk about what was what made Baker special is he was just a football player, yep. extending plays, spinning out of tackles, willing to, when the play broke down, to do wonky stuff. Remember, in Waco, Demetri Flowers was not even supposed to be <laughs> in the pattern, and he finds it for a touchdown today. Caleb Williams, John, that's something I do in NCAA and Madden. The game's on the line. It's a fourth down. I'll just hit the pitch button and hope something good happens because it's going to be a turnover on downs. Anyway, Caleb Williams walks up, just grabs the ball, absolutely wide. Now, the defense, for as bad as they were, we talked about it last week. We've talked about it two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. They can be bad, but they show up and play complimentary football at the right time for this team. Yeah. They did that again today. Opening drive of the second half for the Kansas offense. They march right down the field, score a touchdown, and I'm going, oh, my God, 17-7. This is actually going to be an upset. Yep. What is happening? Burn down Norman. But then the defense responds. They force the only punt of the game from the Jayhawks. They then rip a fumble out, and it allows the Oklahoma offense to get that ball back shorter field and go on a 21-0 run that, that really was the, the difference for Oklahoma. Let them get out a little bit, keep KU at arm's length, and make sure that it was just a head-scratching game as opposed to a Texas-sized upset loss here in Lawrence. Just an absolutely bonkers game, John. This team, they cannot handle success. <laughs> they can't live with it, and they cannot have a normal week. Would the rest of the Big 12, the remaining eight, have loved to send Oklahoma out with a loss in Lawrence, Kansas? I, John, I said it on the field at halftime. Bob Bowlesby has this Learjet, and he's like, <laughs> get me to Lawrence. I'm going to carry Lance Leopold off the field. But, hey, we kind of wondered. There were some murmurs in the preseason about, are, are OU in Texas going to get jobbed a few of these times? We've seen it now. In Manhattan, every single review went Oklahoma's way the by no. the book. Today, <laughs> that play with the fumble, it went by the book. It's just a myth. Put your tinfoil hats away at least for another week. But, John, we've got one more game until the bye week. Yep. And it turns out that no matter who the opponent is, no matter what time of day it is, these games are going to be wonky. <laughs> They're going to be wild. This team is a hoot to cover next week in Norman. It'll be the Texas Tech Red Raiders. They came into the season supposed to be the ninth best team in the Big 12. But you saw what happened today. That clearly doesn't matter. That game's at 2.30 on ABC. In the meantime, head over to allsooners.com. That's where all the content is. As we said, Josh Calloway is not here today, but he did not have the day off. He was back in Oklahoma City doing everything I normally do, the quick takes, his game book, getting up all those players. So get all that, as well as Lincoln Riley, Alex Grinch. They spoke to the media. Bossman Hoove put those up, as well as all of John's coverage from the entire day, a very, very wild day in Lawrence indeed but we'll be back allsooners.com si sooners that's the place to be until next time we'll see ya